Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. I'm sure you've all heard about Conversation Booster in Power Virtual Agents, which is currently in preview. Well, now we have the ability to also use documents as a source in generative answers. I'll tell you all about it right after this. Now, unfortunately, the ability to upload documents as a source for generative answers that is currently in preview today um, is actually only available if you have an environment that is in the U.S. region. So if you don't have that, then unfortunately you can't test this out today. So the way that this works is it's actually there's not a lot of configuration here. The only thing that you need to do is to upload the documents, right? So you're gonna go here inside of PVA into AI capabilities. And then if you scroll down here below this boost conversational coverage with generative answers preview, besides the website, we can now also utilize, as you can see, the ability to upload a document. Now, there are a couple of things that I wanted to mention so first of all, the total number of documents that you can upload here is 100 documents. And the other thing that you need to keep in mind is that the individual files shouldn't be larger than 3 MB. So if you have files that are larger, then it might be a good idea to, to break them up in multiple smaller documents. Now, the other thing that you want to remember is that the files that you're uploading here are going to be stored in Dataverse. So that means that you're going to make sure that you have enough space, right, in Dataverse in order to store those documents. And also keep in mind that all uploaded documents will become part of the Power Virtual Agent solution, which means that all uploaded documents will be included when this solution is exported and then imported again in a different environment. Now the uploaded docs are not going to be restricted by any security, which means that uploaded files, all of the content is going to be available to anybody chatting with the bot, right? Regardless of file permissions or access controls. Now I'm hoping that once this goes GA, that we're going to get some controls in place but I don't know, we're just gonna have to wait and see for that. The other thing you wanna make sure of that you understand is that you know if you have image files or videos or audio files, etc., obviously those are not supported, right? So the document types that are supported are Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PowerPoint documents, PDFs, text documents, HTML files, CSV files, XML files, open document files, so those are ODT files or ODS or ODP files, EPUB documents, rich text format documents, RTF files, Apple iWork documents, JSON files, YAML files, and LaTeX file files as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to upload this document. Let me scroll down a little bit. So this is really uh, a document that has a lot of information about refrigeration and air conditioners, right? So you see here the function of a compressor, superheat. There's a whole bunch of stuff here on there. So let me just go ahead and I can do different things here. I can, as you can see, drag and drop files or I can click here to browse as well. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm just, just gonna drop and dr drag that file in there. So I have it here from my other screen and I'm just copying it, dropping it right over here. And as you can see, that now starts that uploading of that file directly here inside Power Virtual Agents. And like I said earlier, right, that's gonna be stored in Dataverse as well. Now, I wanna say, make sure that you actually give it a couple of minutes to upload. Obviously, depending on the size of the file, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to refresh this 
and I'm going to see if I can ask a question about maybe the function of a compressor. So let's just go ahead and enter that. Okay, so let's see if it knows what the function of a compressor is based on that document that we just uploaded here. Okay, let's retry that here. And here we go. You can see here that it's actually giving me some information from that document. And oops, if I click on this, I can also see exactly where that information came from. You can also see it says citation one, again, it's bringing up this same information. So I believe that that's something that Microsoft is working on. So you're not going to see citation one, citation two. Um, but that's kind of how that works. Now, as you might or might not know, we can actually create additional topics with generative answer nodes, right? Here you can see the conversation booster, but you can also create your own topics and then add that generative answers nodes in there as well. Now, by default, if you have uh, documents uploaded, then all of those are actually used as a data source for all topics that have that generative answer nodes, right? But, but maybe you have the need to exclude documents. And that could be maybe because you only want to use URLs, right? Whatever your reason might be. Well, there is actually a way to do that. So in order to do that, you would have to go to that topic then you would go ahead and open the code editor and you can do that by just clicking here on those three dots open code editor and what you would need to do is you would actually need to enter a little bit of code here like right after this variable topic answer and i try to copy and paste it in there but it just kept giving me error so i'm just going to type this out so this is going to be file search data source and then colon and then I'm going to say search files mode and then again colon and then I'm going to say kind do not search files and you see that now that error is gone so if you add this right below this variable topic answer and then you can save that it is not going to search for those documents that you have uploaded there uh, below the AI capabilities. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.